So today I'm gonna to show you how to build an AI agent that creates NAN workflows for you automatically, and we're gonna be using ChatGPT5. I'm gonna send the AI agent this message and have it to build me a Shopify email customer support workflow that responds to customers, sorts them by urgency, escalates any complex issues to humans, and then logs everything to a Google Sheet. So basically I'm trying to create a Shopify customer support email bot. So what's happening is that the AI agent is processing this and building the workflow right now, and we'll get back to it once it's finished. Perfect, in under 60 seconds, it just created a workflow with Shopify integration, email processing, and it gave us like a brief description of what the workflow does, and then any next steps in order to get this workflow up and running. And so we can go ahead and open that link there and open up another tab for our NAN instance. And then we'll be able to see that it went in and created a Shopify email support workflow with a sticky note, um, giving a brief description of what it does, and then a Gmail trigger, and then any shop at the Shopify node, getting any customer data associated. So yeah, this is what we're building here. We're turning plain English prompts into working workflows instantly. So first let's dive into step-by-step -step of how we would recreate this and build this out. So first we're just gonna add a simple one chat message node and that is pretty self-explanatory. We'll just be able to start chatting with the agent and enter in the prompts of the workflows that we would like to create. Then next we would add a agent node and the source for the prompt will be connected chat trigger node. The prompt will be the user message from what we have input. And then we have a system message for this agent. Um, basically it is saying that we are, that you are a helpful assistant that creates any and workflows for users. Your role is to take the user's workflow request and pass it exactly to the developer tool without any modifications and then wait for that tool to return a workflow link and then present the result to the user in a friendly, helpful manner. And I'll share the rest of this prompt down below in the, in the description. And so what happens is once we send a message to the chat message node, it will go ahead and trigger the developer tool and I'll quickly just go into the brain and the tools of this agent. And we've just connected our open router account and then selected the open AI GPT-5 mini model for the moment. And then we have the simple memory node, which is just a basic session ID that we receive from the chat message that we're doing. And all we do is drag that session ID in there. And then we have the developer tool and inside this developer tool, we just gave a brief description saying, call this tool once you have a finished workflow design to build the workflow. And then we selected the source to be the database and the workflow ID can be grabbed from up top here. And because we're calling into the same sub workflow as what we see here. And then next we'll add this when executed by another workflow node. And then we'll change the input data to just accept all data. Next, we have a Google Drive node that will be able to download the file that we are associating this documentation with. And for the purpose of this video, we have selected resource, then operation to download, and then from this file, NAN documentation, and what this document is, is pretty much a JSON formatted AI agent node with tools, memory, and output parser. So we can feed this into the second AI agent so it can know how to format the JSON properly so it can import it into NAN. And next we have the extract file node where we'll be able to pull the operation, extract text, extract from text file, and then input the binary field as data and then the destination output field will also be data as well. And so then we have the NAN builder agent and we will select the source for the prompt user message as defined below. And the user request will be executed by another workflow. Don't worry if this is red, 
we have it um, executing here successfully in the agent node here where we can see it's pulling in the data from the extract file and then also going to pull the user request which is build me a Shopify email customer support workflow and that prompt for the automation and then we have a system message saying you are an AI expert developer specializing in building workflows for NAN. The job is to translate a human's natural language request into a fully functional NAN workflow JSON. It should be comprehensive, functional, and importable. And it should have 100% valid JSON structure, node types, and connection methods. And then some formatting uh, output requirements that we have here. And I'll share this prompt with you below in the description as well. And then after the, and then we also have the open router chat model for uh, Anthropic Claude Opus 4. And then once the agent creates the required JSON for, from the prompt that we sent, it'll then send it, send the output of this JSON to the create NAN workflow node. We will then connect our NAN account and then the resource will be the workflow resource operation create and then the workflow object which will just be the json output dragged into here and then you can see that this is invalid json formatting for creating a nan workflow and then the final step is having a set field node and the fields to set will be the workflow link and where you're selecting string and then selecting our NAN cloud instance plus the JSON ID of the workflow that we have created. And there you have it. We have an AI workflow builder that generates and deploys NAN workflows automatically, sends a chat message for any workflow, like a Shopify support automation or a lead generation automation for data processing, uh, whatever you can kind of think of. And it will go ahead and create the JSON for it and deploy it inside of your N8N account and then also give you the link for that. And so, you know, the benefit of this is just, it just cuts down your workflow coding time massively and gives you a powerful tool to speed up any automation projects that you might be working on. And so, yeah, if you found this video valuable, subscribe for more N8N tutorials and comment if you have any questions about any multi AI integrations. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.